If you've ever wondered how you can simplify your app development journey and add powerful features like chat, AI, or authentication without reinventing the wheel, this video is for you. Let's add all of these features while building a new travel app in this video. Now the way we can build out these powerful features in a few minutes is by using Flows by Flutterflow. Flows allow you to add full functionalities with a few clicks. They not only provide the UI building blocks, but more importantly, the actions, logic, and Firebase schema to build your app with these key features. Flows are changing the game for developers by automating powerful yet common functionalities of all top applications. But instead of telling you, let me show you how we can build a reimagined version of Culture Trip with chat, AI, and authentication using Flows. So here I have a travel app that I've started to reimagine, the Culture Trip app. Now let's start with authentication. Now we need authentication for all applications. We always need to create almost six different pages, including a create account page, a login page, an edit profile page, forget password page, and more. These are all tedious but necessary pages, and they also need their own backend schema for user flow. Now if you wanted to add just the template pages, you can do that here, but let's click on flows and take it one step further. Now we can see all the flows available to us currently. I'm going to select account creation and profile editing. As you can see, Flows lets me know all the pages and components that would be added to my application with the selection. However, once you add this to your project, we can see the real power of the Flows feature. To start off, not only have six core authentication pages been added, but you can also see the connected navigation and appropriate action flows added by using this user flow. Secondly, a new users collection in Firebase has been automatically added with the appropriate fields. And if I'm just getting started, I just need to set up Firebase, which I can also do in the background using Flutterflow's new Manage Firebase feature. Next up, note that on the Create Account and Login pages, the actions to add a new user to our Firebase collection and to authenticate a user to allow them to enter the app is already set up due to the flow that we imported. Secondly, the various types of authentication have already been assigned to the appropriate UI on the pages. For example, the Google and Apple authentication being the most common, although this will require a little bit of setup on the back end. Lastly, the Create Profile page and Edit Profile page are utilizing a component that has been pre-set up to edit our user's collection. This component will validate the form's information, allow a user to update their profile and app, showcase a successful edit, and navigate back to the homepage. You can easily adapt this form to your own preferences. Finally, we can now adapt this UI template to our own personal theme. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up, but adapt it to Culture Trip's theme. Now that I've adapted our application to Culture Trip's theme, let's go ahead and do a quick test for authentication. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new account. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my email and password and click Create Account. Nice, it takes me to our create profile page where I can now upload my own profile image. I'll choose this penguin. I can select my role, which is being validated by the form. And I can put in a little bit of description about myself. And it takes me into our profile page and logs me in. However, it looks like the login page is a profile page. So I'm unable to navigate to my custom culture trip homepage. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a quick nav bar to allow for easy navigation. Now let's go ahead and retest and we can actually check for authentication through our login using our initial user that we created in the previous setup. And it looks like it's working and taking us to our culture trip page. And I can even navigate to my profile page and make edits as needed to my user collection. Okay, so maybe you think that authentication is a little bit too easy. Let's go ahead and add in the chat feature to our application so that users can engage in the chat on the app in case they want to plan a trip together. Once again, we have a flow for this. So we navigate to flows and select the group plus chat flow that we can now utilize for this feature. We're presented with a few different pages and components as well as new collections that will be added while using this flow. Note that you can add multiple flows easily and we take care of any conflicts by adding new fields to any existing Firebase collections. So in this flow, we have the chat details page with an individual chat interface, the chat invite users page, the chat component, and a few empty state components. The impressive part of this flow is that the backend queries have been set up for you based on the new collections that were added to Firebase. Secondly, the chat details page 
actually has conditional visibility elements based on the number of people in the chat. So this flow actually includes the ability to group chat. And the last thing to note is that the chat component has logic to showcase the correct messages based on who is the authenticated user. Now you can also use this by simply copy and pasting this chat component into the pages that you want. Now, since we already have our color scheme set up, let's go ahead and try out this chat feature. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and create a new account so that our user actually has another individual to chat with. Now I can view my main chat page that I've added to my nav bar. And I can also select the other users that are on the current platform. Let's go ahead and select and let's say, Hey, now just to make sure it works, I'll log back into our other account and let's make sure that we can send messages both ways. Great. Looks like this is working. Now I've added chat into trip planning in just a few clicks. And I can also make it easy to send culture trip app links into our chat in our next step. Finally, since it's 2023, let's go ahead and add in an AI chat feature that can help me plan my trip. You can go ahead and add in the ChatGPT component flow. Once you add it in, you can actually view the API group that's been added directly to your project with all of the headers, variables, and body set up for you. The few changes that we need to adjust here are the following. First, make sure that your OpenAI profile has enough credits to call the API and that you have access to GPT-4. However, if you have access to another model, you can always adjust this within the API group. Next, be sure to grab your API from OpenAI and input it within this action chain. This will allow our app to be able to actively call the API. Next, be sure to set the scroll to field to list view within the action chain. And finally, make sure that you can actually access the ChatGPT page from your app. Here, I set it up on my nav bar once again for easy access. Now let's go ahead and test it and we can access it directly from the nav bar. And let's say, Hey, I need help booking a trip to Morocco. Sweet. It looks like ChatGPT is responding and now we can use it to help plan our trip. Now, once again, we can always make any design edits once we've added the flow. So I'm going to go ahead and do that very quickly here. And now we can take a look at our entire application. We have fully integrated authentication. We've added a ChatGPT AI feature, and we've added the ability for our users to group chat and talk to each other when planning a trip. Finally, on top of these flows, we have so many others that you can utilize for other applications. For example, with the KYC and onboarding pages, you can allow your users to sign in with their phone number and validate that they have received the KYC code. Or with the support tickets flow, you can allow your users to report issues within your application easily by implementing the components, pages, schema, and logic to obtain the user support tickets data. And finally, we hope to add so many more flows, as well as to allow users to create their own. As you can see, we're excited about the possibility of allowing builders to add powerful functionalities with logic and schema in a few clicks. So go ahead and try it out at flutterflow.io and let us know in our community what other flows you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.